Hi, I'm Bill Lampton, the Biz Communication Guy. Have you ever suffered a severe unexpected loss, loss of your job, loss of your health, financial loss, loss of a relationship, loss of faith in a friend? Most of us have had events like that happen. What's more important than the event itself, although the event seems overwhelming at the time, what's more important is what we say to ourselves during that time. Do we blame ourselves? Do we say nothing good is ever going to come of it again? In a minute, I'm going to quote from this book, Harvey McKay's book. Beware the naked man who offers you his shirt. First, I want to tell you an incident about Harvey McKay. When I was first a member of National Speakers Association, I started reading Harvey McKay's books. He was president of an envelope company. He was becoming a nationally known speaker and author. Eventually, he had seven books on the New York Times bestseller list, selling an amazing 10 million copies. I was at this convention. I was walking down the hallway. I saw Harvey McKay walking toward me. I stopped him and politely introduced myself, told him that I had read two of his books. Very, very courteously, he asked me which two I'd read. I told him. He said, well, that means there are three more that you haven't read yet. He pulled out his business card and said to me, the number on that card is the one I want you to call. Here's the name of my administrative assistant. Tell her that you saw me at the NSA convention and that I want her to send you three autographed copies, the three books of mine that you haven't read. What a quality guy. Isn't it nice when somebody you've heard about winds up being just as genuine in person? Okay, in the book, he talks about failures. He says, what is the greatest lesson that failure teaches? Failure teaches you not to fear failure. Because if you can survive it to fight again, you haven't failed. Then he gives a very fine case incident here. An executive named Linda Gottlieb. Linda was doing very well with her company. She was in the position. She had the the responsibilities that she wanted. And yet, as the companies grew larger... She said, strangely enough, the very assets and and capabilities that she had that her boss admired, all of a sudden, he soured on her, and before long, she was gone. She took a bold step. She became an entrepreneur, a film producer, and with a modest investment of $5 million, very modest by Hollywood standards, She started trying to get a movie produced and nothing really worked until she found one small company who decided to take a chance on it. The movie, Dirty Dancing, with Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey. It grossed $140 million. And what did Linda Gottlieb say? Linda Gottlieb said, failure liberated me. When I was terminated from that job, I was free to pursue what I really wanted to do. She could have taken a much different attitude. She could have said, this is the end of the line for me in corporate world. I'll no longer have an impact, a leadership spot. And yet she became the producer of one of the all-time classic popular movies, which you can still catch on television. Harvey McKay's example and what he said about failure not being final, if we recognize that overcoming it, then we won't fear failure again. Those are great words for us to remember. So I close with this challenge. Next time failure comes your way, Don't just depend on other people to support you. 
become your own best friend. Give yourself encouraging words. Talk to yourself about hope for the future. Don't think about your liabilities. Think about your assets, your talents, your previous accomplishments. You'll be glad that you did.